So you can have it prefer a server, but the caveat is that it has to be within the same stratum. You're not going to be able to make it prefer a stratum 3 over a stratum 2. Just keep that in mind. Uh, and generally, you're not going to want to have that happen anyways. You're going to want to have the lowest stratum be your time server. Okay, one last thing before we get out of here, and that is converting the time if we do a show clock from UTC to something that is more appropriate for your router. I'm not going to go into this into a huge amount of detail. I do have a lesson on manually setting time that goes into this a little bit more. But in order to do this, you're going to want to go into configuration mode. And from there, clock. And you have some options here. And the first one is going to be time zone. So we're in central standard time here. And you set a word. In this case, we're going to use CST for central standard time. And then you can set the offset. And the offset is negative 6. You can find that out from the internet or on Windows from your Windows clock. It's your offset from UTC. And then finally, we're going to also another clock command, which is summertime. And in summer, we'll be using central daylight time and then recurring. If you're in the United States, you could just type recurring, hit enter. It'll use the U.S. rules for the days that daylight saving time begins and ends. If you're in another area, you may have to manually configure that. Go ahead and check out the slides. I have some information for that. But now, once we've configured those two commands, if we do a show clock, we can see that instead of being shown in UTC time, we're seeing the accurate time in Central Standard Time. If you do a show clock detail, it will actually show you that summertime has been configured and when that starts and ends. So while NTC serves up time in UTC, you can adjust that locally to whatever you like. So that's going to wrap it up for the lab portion. We looked at setting up devices as NTP clients. We saw how to make it prefer one server over another. We also saw how to make a Cisco device into an NTP master time source as well as how to look up public NTP servers and configure your routers as clients to those public servers. We looked at how Stratum works and how that actually comes into play when you're choosing a NTP time source and a couple things I've probably forgotten to summarize. But anyways, there's going to be a couple other lessons on more quote-unquote advanced sections of NTP, so definitely check those out. Thanks as always for joining me in the Packet Lab.